Hello and welcome to my kitchen. In this video, I have a special treat for you. It is a caldo de albondigas. So if you're in the mood for any type of soup, this one is going to be the one. It is so simple to make and comes out so delicious. So if you want to learn how to make this, stay tuned and I will show you how. The ingredients is as follows ground beef cabbage for this recipe I will be using two sticks of celery two of the squash two tomatoes and two carrots what you want to do first is get your pot add some water remember not to add water all the way to the top because you're going to be adding your meatballs and your veggies and then it might overflow so i have it just right there and i'm going to add a tablespoon of salt and we're going to let that come to a boil. Here I have my hamburger meat and I'm going to add seasonings to it. I add lemon pepper, garlic powder, Seasoned salt, and just regular pepper. I'm going to add some rice in here. I don't measure, I just add. So basically just add what you think you need. I washed my hands so now we're gonna get in here and pretty much mix this together and then start making our balls what you want to do is make sure that all the seasonings and the rice get all mixed in with the hamburger meat once you have that all mixed in we're gonna start making our meatballs so you're gonna get um, just as big as you want it. I do like mine just a little bit bigger. So sometimes I'll make bigger ones with small ones or just bigger ones or just small ones. But you can make them as big as you want. And that's about the size I'm making mine. And I just have a cutting board here where I'm just going to place them on. And you wanna just keep doing that with the rest of the hamburger meat. And once you have them all like this, I did some big ones, I did some medium, some small. By now, your water should be boiling on the stove. So we're gonna go and put these in the water. Okay, and all you're gonna do, so it's already boiling. You're just gonna drop these in there, slowly. And now these are going to cook, I would say, give it about 20, 30 minutes. While your meatballs are getting cooked, we're going to start prepping 
our vegetables. So we've got the carrots, we've got the celery, we've got our squash, we've got our tomato, and we have our cabbage. So what I'm gonna do is just cut these into little pieces and then I'm going to um, take off the skin and cut this into little pieces, cut this into pieces, cut this into pieces, and the cabbage. All my vegetables are all cut up. Added them to this bowl so it'll be easier to toss in the pot. And I forgot to mention the potatoes. I cut up about four small potatoes and just rinsed them off, all the dirt, and just added water. If you add water to it, because we're not gonna add it in just yet to the pot, so if you add water to it, it's going to not brown. So we're just gonna set this aside. Checking on the meatballs and they are pretty done. So what I like to do, I'm going to toss in some, this is caldo de tomate, tomato bouillon, okay? And that is to give it flavor and to give it some color. And you can add as much as you want. I'm gonna add a little bit more. That should be good. Since the meatballs are done, At this point, this is when we want to toss in all our veggies. And we just want to give that a good mix. already looking delicious we want to cover this up too so that the vegetables will cook faster cover that up and that should take no more than 20 minutes for the vegetables to soften these have been cooking for approximately 20 minutes and now I'm going to toss in my potatoes And gonna give that a little stir and this is just about done we're gonna cover this back up and the potatoes should take I would say about 20 15 20 minutes for them just to be fork tender you don't want to overcook them because you're gonna have mushy potatoes so cover this back up and we'll see you back After about 20 minutes, this is done. Look at how delicious that looks. See, super easy and fast. And we are all finished. So now of course comes the best part. We're gonna try it out. I like to serve mine with some limon, of course. And I've got some tortillas here. These are just store-bought, but if you want the recipe for my homemade corn tortillas, I will leave the link up here or down here under the description box so that you can make homemade corn tortillas to go with this lovely soup. So, Let's try it. Mmm, those big, big, big albondigas. 
Yum. Bon appetit. Just what I needed today was a good soup. So delicious. Mm. Mm. I love all the flavor that's in it. The meat itself is really, really just good. That is it, everybody. That is my recipe for my caldo de albondigas. If you happen to make this recipe, let me know down below. Also, don't forget to share, like, hit that notification, and the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. You don't want to miss out on any of my recipes. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you in my next video. Bye.